Yo, what is up, everybody? Shaw's back at it with another video. Now, and today I'm gonna be actually explaining what are the best snipers that you guys can use in Pixel Gun 3D, so you guys can um gather some type of idea about you know what are the best snipers in this game. I mean, there's a lot of snipers. Okay, there's like a thousand one hundred something weapons. So obviously, you know you're gonna have a lot to choose from. And yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna actually be talking about what are the best snipers in the game so at my number five would have to be the harsh punisher now why i'm putting the harsh punisher here is it's mostly a two shot and also it has some type of delay also it doesn't have any like special ability that i would really you know I, I wouldn't really use it like if I wanted to win matches if that makes any sense It's just I'm trying to clarify that you know, there's uh, snipers with better effects out there and this is just kind of basic It doesn't really I mean it the, obviously the damage is pretty good, but It doesn't it's really basic. It doesn't have that many effects That's why I'm putting at number five because I know this is a lot of uh, people's favorite sniper, but personally on my list, I just could never see why, or like, because there's you know a lot of other uh, snipers you could find that uh, they have like uh, different effects, you know, like area damage, poison, um, like anything you could think of, pretty much. So yeah, that's probably why I would use something else most of the time. But I do like using this because it really um. The, I don't know what you call that. The the fire rate is very fast on this. That's why I like it sometimes. I mean, I use it if I'm kind of bored when I switch things up. But I do realize there's a lot of better sniper, better options out there. Personally, I really like the design of this weapon though. Especially the skin that I'm using right now on it. It looks very cool. I mean, I think it's called the snowfall skins. I'm not really sure. I forgot, guys. It's been so long. Now, at my number four, guys, I'm just doing this off of the top of my head, by the way. I didn't really pre-think this because I'm just kind of going off my instinct here to actually um, gather what I could think is the best snipers in the game off the top of my head while I'm recording this. But... For number four, I would say laser bow because it's basically almost always a one shot. The only difference between this and the harsh punisher, I mean, there's a lot of differences actually. I mean, as you guys can see, the the reflection shots are pretty good, so it's very easy to get multi kills with this. And if you want, and the fire rate's insane. Obviously, it's probably better than the harsh punisher. That's why I would have to put it over the Harsh Punisher. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can see it. Personally, I really like the... I like bows in general. I've always liked bulls. Bull, bows. Because they're so different. It's just something to try to use in the game. That, you know, you can just switch up. And, uh, yeah. I mean, it just changes stuff up, guys. Because... If you're always in a position where you're using basic snipers, it's probably going to be boring, but sometimes I like to switch it up with these bows, and yeah, it's pretty fun. I mean, the fire rate is pretty broken on it, and the ricochet, if you're in a smaller map like I am at the moment, and you're constantly switching weapons, especially with something like this, obviously, you're going to win the match, like, either way, man, if you just keep spamming this, because, you know, I mean it's all p like there's nothing else to really say about it like i i already explained all the effects about it and i mean you guys can see i'm literally and this is just solely using it so it can like overcome a lot of things and i'm probably carrying my team right now as we're speaking yep i am and that was just using the bow i mean maybe there's bots on my team who knows but i gotta give credit to the bow because it is a pretty good weapon and yeah guys so for the number three i believe that it's gonna have to be the an uh, anniversary anti-champion why i'm putting this is because it's also a ricochet but the clip is a bit larger so 
that's the only difference between it and the laser bow and I know this sounds like really odd but I just like the design better like I would probably like also the animation uh, when you kill somebody on this is really cool I know I'm talking about the best snipers but I don't know it just kind of makes things interesting for me and it's yeah I feel like it's better uh, damage wise I may be wrong but this is just off my experience maybe the laser bow is better I'm not really sure it depends honestly on your modules for a lot of these things because when you get to a lot of these mythical snipers you're gonna find that a lot of them do around the same damage and after that if it's a one shot it depends on your mods um, so obviously if you have higher end mods like level 9 or level X what am I saying level 10 or level 9 um, you're gonna do a lot more damage and probably get those one shots because every bit of damage m matters if you're looking to get a one shot on your sniper because they do like what well, I think 109 I don't know their base but those modules are gonna boost it up by like quite a lot so that's why I would focus on getting your modules up and I actually wanted to make another video about how to do that because I know there's not a lot of ways these days on how to get modules but besides clan grinding that's about it but yeah now on my number two list uh, I think it would be the conductor of souls now I used to spam this a lot back in the day I think around when it first came out or maybe like 2021 it was pretty good and I really like this as you guys can see the fire rate is just rapid like it's non-stop and it's mostly a one shot the animation on the kills are really cool like as you can uh, see that dude just like flew like it just looks very cool but yeah it, and it's a uh, I'm pretty sure it's a wall break that's also another reason why I'm putting it up there now I always like the sniper uh, I'm pretty sure there's a skin for it that's like uh, white and black I mean I don't know black and orange or white and black I think I I might be getting it confused but it's a pretty cool skin too uh, I know I shouldn't be talking about skins but it, it just makes the weapon more interesting but yeah overall though it's damage wise and fire rate wise ability wise it's definitely up there with the top tier snipers I actually wanted to know what your guys list would be so if you guys did have a list let me know but I'm just gonna be playing with this for a bit and uh, yeah we'll just see some gameplay with it as you guys can see uh, I'm just spamming it solely so it's kind of you know obviously not on a normal match you're gonna do this but I'm just trying to show you guys what the capabilities of it are pretty much just raw and uh, just like kind of showing because um, I know some of these people watching this probably don't have some of these weapons so I thought that I would have to actually show people about um, you know how pretty good these weapons are overall man. like these are some of the best weapons in the game but yeah if you guys have any other video ideas um, I would appreciate that too because you know I want to switch things up but yeah over, as you guys can see the sniper is pretty good I'm just missing a lot of shots because I usually I don't use just sniper I always switch between heavy and I usually spam backup I guess that's kind of my strategy I kind of like to also primary I don't really use sniper a lot guys I gotta be honest if I do I'm using the top one sniper on this list which I'm pretty sure everybody saw it coming but it's gonna be the noble I know this just came out but yeah, it's the most broken weapon in the game. In my, eh, no, it's not the most broken at the moment. But obviously you guys get the thing. like It literally just heals you completely. So obviously this is going to be the most OP in the game. Because it's a one tap. And it's also an area damage I believe. It has some sort of effects on it. With the healing. And also it's not even just the healing. I'm pretty sure it has some type of area damage. So yeah it's pretty broken now it's a very nice sniper because uh, all the things I mentioned and also if you have 
it's very easy to aim with it. But the capacity is also huge. I mean, there's nothing really interesting else about the sniper. I mean, I literally just said all the attributes, but you guys can see me just crushing it in this lobby. It's kind of fury only using the sniper. Now, yeah, I could safely say this is probably the best one. That it kind of sucks because I don't. I mean, nah, maybe it will come back out. I, if you guys missed it, um, yeah, you guys missed out on something great because this is broken, guys. I'm telling you now. But yeah, if you missed it, that's on you because I don't. I don't really think the devs are gonna come out with it again because how annoying it is to face against a lot of people have been complaining about it too but it just hasn't been nerfed um which is interesting to see but i wouldn't doubt if it got nerfed in the next coming months but yeah with that being said peace